YouTube channel. You ever have those days where you feel like you're gonna get a head start on all the things that you need to do and then suddenly you're like running late? <laughs> Yeah, that's me right now. I'm currently about to head out to a hair appointment and I don't know what happened to the day, but it's already like time for me to go and I need to eat and I'm starving. So I am going to make a little protein smoothie to drink and hold me over until I can have an actual meal later. But today I thought it would just be fun to kind of take you along with me throughout my day. I'm getting my hair done today, my hair color, yay, finally. Oh my gosh, my hair is so grown out and I'm going to someone new today and I'm really excited. Fingers crossed that goes well. And so yeah, I'm gonna make the smoothie, Let's go get my hair done and then hopefully I'll have time to catch up with you later. I really wanted to make a nicer intro, but I'm seriously, yeah, I'm running late. <laughs> So good. I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. <sighs> Push it more time right now. I'm reading this book. Look, I'm procrastinating and now I'm running even more late, but I started reading this book over the weekend and it is so freaking good. You guys, I got up so early this morning and had such a nice morning. I mean, I didn't wake up at five like I wanted to, but I woke up pretty close to five and I'm gonna try for five again tomorrow morning, but more on that later. I'm gonna make sure I have my mask and all my stuff. I'm using a one-time use mask from Bella and Canvas, which is actually Aloe Yoga's sister brand because just in case they get color on the mask, then it's not like a big deal, you know? So, okay, let's go get my hair done and then we'll catch up on all the things after. Ta-da! Here's my hair. It came out so pretty. She did such a nice job. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so relieved because you never know when you go to a new person for color. And like, I haven't had to go to somebody new for eight years. It's a really long story, I won't get into it. <laughs> but I was going to the same person for like eight years before. And I just decided to shake things up and go with someone new. And I am in love with my hair. I feel like a new woman. I feel fresh and like I got a nice little confidence boost. So it's so fun to get your hair color done and treat yourself, you know what I mean? This should come as no surprise to you guys, but I have come home and I am starving. <laughs> what is my problem? I have such a hard time. I guess I just do too much. I just try to do too much and then just always like have a million things going on. So I'm home, I walk the dogs, I'm making dinner because it's six. I was at the salon all day long. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so freaking cute. I have to show you this. How cute is my new plate? Well, the lighting is so much better over here. Um, Now maybe you can see my hair a little bit better. Anyway, I got my, <laughs> really ADD right now. I got this at Urban Outfitters. Isn't that so cute? I just love it. Anyway, I'm really losing it. <laughs> the hardest part, about like going to get your hair done is sitting uh, in the chair for so long. That's kind of why I only go like twice a year. <laughs> also, I've shared about these before. These are so good. They're from Trader Joe's. It's just carbonated water, lemon juice, and ginger juice, and it's all organic, and it's so yummy. It's so refreshing. It is incredibly hot in LA right now. Like I think I actually have lip sweat in my apartment. I'm burning up. So, oven's on, so it's like even hotter in here. And I had to turn the AC off so that you could hear me. <laughs> so I'm just sweating a little bit. Like I said earlier, I feel like there's so much that I want to catch you up on. <sighs> but I don't know if I have the energy to do it tonight. So maybe I'll just continue this vlog tomorrow. Yeah, that might be what's gonna happen because I'm so exhausted. I got up at 5.30 this morning, which is something I wanna talk to you about, but maybe I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. And I really only had breakfast and a smoothie and a matcha and a juice. Yeah, way past hungry at this point, which honestly was a complete accident because I meant to leave myself enough time for dinner, but then I decided I wanted to try to shoot a TikTok with my hair before so I could shoot one part after. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do TikTok, but it's like seriously, it's seriously challenging for me. 
I really love watching TikToks. But I'm having trouble making them, but I'm trying because I think it's fun. It's fun and it's challenging me to try to learn something new. If you're not already, follow me on TikTok. I'm at Namaste. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed my channel name to my name, Shayla Quinn. It was Namaste Shay before. I don't know why. That's just the name of my blog, but I kind of just started this YouTube channel as that. And then I just was like, well, it's me, so I might as well change it to my name. I wish I could make my TikTok handle my name, but somebody already has it, so that's that. Guys, I don't think I can cook in here without the AC on. Sorry, but we gotta turn the AC on. Yeah, no, there's just, there's no way that I can be in here without it on. There's no way it's only 77 degrees right now. It feels like 90 in my apartment. You like that cool air coming out? You like the cool air? Are you hot? Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right, guys, I feel like I cannot even function. I put together a sentence. I'm so exhausted and hungry. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. morning walk and I'm really excited to share these pants and this bra with you in my next try on haul they are so comfy I just had to show you also why are you so crazy in the morning why are you so crazy in the morning wanna go for a walk get up at 5 this morning like I wanted to because I didn't go to bed until a little after 9 30 but I did get up at 5 30 which I'm pretty proud of speaking of getting up early I kind of want to chat a little bit about that and some other things I feel like I just could not function last night I was so tired so let's chat and then we'll call it a day so I got this book randomly on one of my late night Amazon shopping extravaganzas, if you will, <laughs> called the 5 a.m. club. And I have a ton of books that I'm, no, excuse me guys, you guys are having my breakfast, this is for me. And I have a ton of books on my bedside table that I want to read and that I'm working my way through, which is a clear sign that I should not be purchasing any more books because I already have. Don't sell my armpit. <laughs> Can you not right now? I shouldn't be buying any more books, but I just can't help myself. If the book looks really good, I'm such a bookworm. I love reading books so much. So anyway, I am currently reading another book about inflammation and the gut. And I went to my mom's house for the holiday weekend and randomly was like, I'm just gonna bring this 5 a.m. club book and start a new book. 
So I brought it with me. I read it over the weekend. I still have a fourth of the book to still finish, so I'm not completely through it yet. But it basically talks about waking up at 5 a.m. because that's the optimal time for creativity and just expanding on your talents and the things that you're passionate about. And I personally am a morning person, but I comfortably wake up between 6.30 and 7.30. So 5 a.m. is like pretty early for me but I've been experimenting the last two days with waking up as close to five as I can. And I have to say, it's so incredible. I'm on day two of this five-ish, the goal is five. I've been getting up at like 5.30. Just letting my mornings be sacred and taking that time to invest in my yoga practice and in my wellness practice and meditating and just taking the first few hours of my day to really ground down and invest that optimal time into the things that I'm really passionate about and it's making me feel so good and I'm so excited to share this with you. So what I'm thinking is obviously I first wanna finish the book and I wanna be on this routine for a little while before I do like a morning routine video, 5 a.m. morning routine video, but guys, it's so amazing. I'm feeling so good, like wow. I feel so much more productive. I feel so in the flow and it just feels so good. And I know that sounds really freaking early, but I'm coming up with tips to help you wake up earlier and all that stuff. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that and tell you that I, or ask you rather, if you're interested in learning about that slash want to wake up earlier, or if you already wake up early, tell me what time you wake up. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. And I'm excited to finish the book and get into a good routine with it for at least the next week and then make a video on it because it's pretty cool. I'm about to shoot my favorite vegan products video. So that's coming soon too, which will be great because I have so, excuse me, because I have so many good products that I've been using and collecting and testing over the last couple of months. And I'm excited to share them with you because there's so many good things and it's in a range of categories, beauty products and food and cleaning products and random stuff like that. So that I'm going to do right after this. And yeah, my nutrition course is going well. I'm a little bit behind because I decided to take a couple of days off for the weekend, but I really needed that break to just like rest and relax. So I need to finish the last section of that and then I will give you a review on that. Oh, my podcast. I'm working on it. I ordered the equipment, which was step one. Also contacted a designer about doing the cover art for the podcast. I already know what I'm doing for the first episode. It's just gonna be a solo episode where I just kind of share what my intentions are with the podcast and kind of formally introduce myself and all of that jazz. And now I'm trying to think of the next two episodes that I wanna do. And so I wanted to ask you guys, what if any topics you want me to cover or if there's anyone in particular that you'd like for me to interview so that I can reach out to them and plan that. Would love to get your input on this and just let it be like a group effort. And obviously I'm gonna talk Talk to people that I'm really interested in and that I want to learn about and all that stuff because this is just a passion project but I also would love to know what you want to hear and what you want to listen to or if there's any podcasts that you really love to listen to I would love to know about them so I could check them out and see what it is that you you know like about those podcasts and just to get some inspiration and I'm really excited about it I have no idea what I'm doing so just a heads up <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. It's just another fun project for me to create and learn alongside with you. So I'm really excited about that. I will obviously let you know once the first episode is live, but I'm thinking, I'm trying to get everything together to launch the first episode. Is that what you call it? The first show, the episode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, episode. I don't know. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wanting to launch the first episode the last week of July or the first week of August. So just keep that in mind. But again, I'll keep you guys posted and all of that jazz. What else did I want to talk to you about? Oh yeah. And a couple of videos ago, I talked about doing like a gut healing cleanse video. I'm still working on that. I decided that before I release any information, I want to finish my certification, my plant-based nutrition certification, just in case I learn anything new that would be relevant to that. So that is still coming. I'm just taking my time and finishing my course first. I think that's it for me. I love you guys. I hope that you are all staying safe and healthy and wearing a mask and washing your hands and being mindful of others. You know, this pandemic is not over and it's still really, really important that you take this seriously and protect yourself and protect thy neighbor, you know, if you will. 
people around you and boost your immune system and make sure you're getting enough rest and just be mindful about it. It's still very much here and happening. And I don't know if you guys remember, but back in March, I think it was my March intentions video, I shared about this woman who we actually taught at the same studio and I mentioned that I was following her story on Instagram about how her husband was diagnosed with COVID, was hospitalized and ended up having to have his leg amputated and I don't know if you guys remember that. Comment down below if you remember me sharing about that. I found their story just at a really good time for me because I needed an attitude shift, you know, and a perspective shift. And just hearing about what they were going through really snapped me back into the reality of how lucky I am and grateful I am for my health. And anyway, so I found their story in March and I've been following it and it's just absolutely tragic. You know, he was in the ICU for 94 days and so, so sick with COVID and she's home trying to manage a household and a business and care for her husband in the ICU and take care of their one-year-old son. Super, super invested in their story and their journey. And, you know, I think with everything else happening in the world, the civil rights issues and employment and all these other things that we're facing and the stress of being inside and all of that, I think over time it can become easier to forget that we are in the middle of a pandemic, you know, and that this virus is real and it doesn't discriminate and people are getting sick, really, really sick and dying. Not everyone, but a lot of people. And it doesn't matter how old you are or whether you have previous health conditions or whether you're a good person or not or whatever it might be. And so I had another reality check when I learned of his passing on this past Sunday. It's devastating. It's devastating that he lost his life to this virus. This woman lost her husband. Their son lost his father. He won't be there to see his son grow up, you know, and he had no previous health conditions. Young, 41, healthy. So I don't say that to scare you, but I say that to just, I implore you to please take this seriously. Please protect your health, wash your hands, social distance as much as you can, be safe, be smart, and be kind to other people, you know? Being kind to other people is keeping a safe distance and wearing a mask and washing your hands and staying home. And if for some reason, I know it's really controversial for some reason about wearing a mask, which I really don't understand because wearing a mask is not that big of a deal. It's for the interim and it's to protect each other. And if you can think about people other than yourself, it should be easy for you to wanna to wear a mask. Anyway, I will leave you guys on that note. Sorry if I'm being annoying. I just care about you and I care about other people in the world besides myself <laughs> and want to try to protect as many people as we can, you know, just by being mindful. It's really not a big deal. And the sooner we can come together and work together, the sooner this will all be over. So thanks for watching. I think this is the most random vlog ever, but it is what it is. I am going to shoot my vegan products haul for you guys now, which should be up later this week. And yeah, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.